Well, now it's time to give James a go to put highlights on his garments. Again, a reminder that uh, you're seeing this at four times the normal speed and from time to time there might be normal speed above me. I'm starting with the uh, inner garment, what will be the white garment with green tinting and for this of course as always the ubiquitous titanium white. There is another white pigment which I virtually never ever use and more and more or fewer and fewer iconographers use it, zinc white. It's very translucent and needs a lot to uh, make a difference. Titanium white is very opaque and you need very little to make a big difference. Well, there's not a lot more to be said at this stage about what's happening apart from watching it. So while we watch the paint going on, let's hear some information about John. And again, as with Philip, this information has been written by Dr. Keith Dyer. And so he writes, James, the brother of Jesus the Just, Adelfoth, Adelfotheus, that is, brother of God and first bishop of Jerusalem. Now, there are 42 mentions of the name James in the New Testament, referring to as many as seven different people, and a further 27 uses of Jacob, Yaakov, referring to the Hebrew patriarch. It is sometimes difficult, therefore, to sort out which James is meant. One of the two disciples with that name, the brother of the Lord and leader of the church in Jerusalem, or the author of the letter of James, apart from other minor characters carrying the same name. There are many suggestions about how the uh, identities of the Jameses might overlap or be clarified, but the most commonly accepted position is that James the Just, the brother of the Lord, and that's listed in Acts in Galatians 1.19 and 2.2 uh, 2 and 9, is the one who became the leader of Jerus the Jerusalem church and the most likely source of the epistle of James. The other main James, the Apostle, the brother of John, the son of Zebedee, was the first and only member of the Twelve Martyrs in the New Testament record, Acts 12, 1 to 2, around 44 in the Common Era. But James the Just himself suffered the same fate later on in 62 in the Common Era. Indeed, the Jewish historian Josephus tells us more about the death of James the Just than he does about the death of Jesus and attributes the dismissal of the high priest uh, uh, Ananus the Younger to his blatant opportunism in having James clubbed and stoned while the Romans were absent. And Josephus writes about this in, in his book Antiquities of the Jews, Book 20, Chapter 19. We can see from the references in Acts, that is Acts 12, Chapter 12, verse 17 and 15, uh, 13 following, and in 21, 18, that in his own time, James had an authority and reputation in Jerusalem that exceeded that of Peter and Paul. James was the one 
who settled divisive issues in Jerusalem and to whom Peter and Paul returned to maintain their good standing with the earliest Jesus followers. The reputation of James, also known in the tradition as uh, camel knees due to the time he spent on his knees praying in the temple, extends well beyond the biblical canon. The Gospel of Thomas reads, The disciples said to Jesus, We know that you will depart from us. Who will be our leader? Jesus said to them, Wherever you uh, have come, you will go to James the Just, for whose sake heaven and earth came into being. Again, this provides further evidence from outside the Bible of the considerable reputation of James of Jerusalem. The letter of James itself shows signs of some very early material and may well be a reworking of the sermons of the first bishop of Jerusalem. It is a treatise on putting into practice the teachings of Jesus, on God's bias to the poor, and on faith in action, not just belief. The memorable faith without works is dead in James 2.26, a statement in some tension with Paul's writings. Traditionally, James the Just has been the patron saint of the dying, of milliners, hat makers, fullers and pharmacists. Given the distinctive emphases of the James traditions in Acts and the Epistle of James, we might suggest that he also be seen today as the patron saint of the poor, of community development and practical Christianity. Of Jewish Christian dialogue, of knee and hip replacements, and of any teachers who struggle with their sharp tongues, in reference to James 3, 1 to 12. Well, we're now putting highlights into the outer garment, the dark green, the dark um, chrome oxide garment. Again, just adding titanium white to the uh, chromium oxide, the green pigment. Firstly, just a little, just to give that slight um, contrast between the dark and the light. The places where light will fall on the outside of folds, but particularly in terms of the anatomy of a person uh, on the uh, shoulders, forearms um, and uh, upper thighs, so from the knee. So below the knee will tend to be dark. And it'll, it'll grade uh, from the knee through to the, the waist, going from light to dark. using a slightly smaller brush but also uh, some more titanium white adding a slightly brighter highlight but not covering as much area
little bit of touch up and highlight on uh, on Philip uh, but also uh, putting the scrolls each of the saints is holding a scroll and that hadn't been painted yet so now it's time to do that and starting mainly with titanium but tinting it with a, uh, a yellow ochre so that it's uh, that will form the shadow part and then putting a plain white just pure white uh, on top of that but not covering the whole lot just showing some uh, shape some roundness uh, to the uh, scroll that uh, is held in the fist of each of the saints Now there's a little gap in this story because somehow I lost the video that I took of making this area here and this area here darker. It was a particular problem in James' garment in that the whole area of green looked too flat even though the highlights had been put in it still looked too flat. There wasn't enough contrast. So I wanted to make some of the shading like here and down here and through there darker. A common way of doing that is to add burnt umber to a colour and that sort of knocks it back. But another way is to uh, add the complementary colour. Now the complementary colour of green is red and so I added some cadmium red to the green and that came up with that colour there. It wasn't such a problem for the blue but I'm glad I did uh, do this as well and used the complementary colour for blue which is orange and this is cadmium orange, very bright and it's quite exciting the way that bright colour added to the cerulean blue made this more vibrant dark blue.